Tornadoes are one kind of severe weather outbreak. But in June 2012, the Midwest and Mid-Atlantic states fell victim to a notorious windstorm called a derecho. Derecho is actually a Spanish word that means straight. And in weather, we use it to refer to a long running, basically series of thunderstorms that create straight line wind damage. When you get these derechos, it's not going to be concentrated in one small little town. It's going to take place and impact large areas, and the impacts are going to be just spread out over a very, very large distance. A lot of times they come at night. These things are nasty lines of thunderstorms that produce very high winds, sometimes over 100 miles per hour. One of the main catalysts for a derecho is the temperature. And in late June 2012, the heat has been building for several days. The Friday before this event happened, there was all-time record heat. Throughout much of the Mid-Atlantic and the South, new record either daily highs or even monthly highs or all-time highs were set. Thunderstorms often form around that big bubble of heat. We call it the ring of fire. Eventually, the cauldron boils over. A small thunderstorm that starts in Iowa rapidly intensifies over Indiana and transforms into a derecho. This derecho lasted a very long time, began on June 29th and went through the 30th. And this thing went through the Midwestern part of the US, then eventually tracked its way into the Appalachian chain and then into the Mid-Atlantic. The rampage covers a staggering 700 miles, leaving a trail of destruction across seven states. It also hits the nation's capital. North and west of D.C., there were winds over 80 and even 90 miles per hour, but that's enough to do a lot of damage. It just blew trees down all across the roads, across power lines, broke power lines down, had transformers go through cars, through houses. Devastation everywhere. All told, the derecho causes almost $3 billion worth of damage and leaves more than 4 million people without electricity in blistering hot weather. People absolutely take their power for granted. Once the ratio hit, they were out of power. No refrigeration, no air condition. It was a different story. When you have record-breaking heat like that, you have to worry about people without their air conditioner. It, it, it's really hard on them. When you look at weather and weather-related fatalities, heat actually tops the list. Responding to the crisis, 6,000 linemen and workers from 18 states and Canada leap into action. At the best of times, it's a dangerous and demanding job. But after the derecho, it stretches resources and resilience to the limit. We had 150 poles broken. We had um, close to 100 cross arms broken. We had over a mile of conductor on the ground. The first day we worked 18 hours, then after that it was 16 hours. It was so hot and humid. It took a toll on you after a while. It takes the linemen a month to repair the entire network. Everybody came together as a team. Everyone pitched in and uh, everybody was working. And the linesmen's efforts don't go unnoticed. On April 18th, 2013, Congress declares a National Lineman Appreciation Day to honor all those who maintain and restore the nation's power. It's great that the Senate recognizes linemen. Uh, it just shows they appreciate all the hard work the linemen do for, for the country. These guys and gals are out there working around the clock to get power restored. They're saving lives. They're the superheroes who pull out the capes when the power's out. 